Hello everyone and welcome to this Dungeon Editor tutorial for Legend of Grimrock 2. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at some Alcove puzzles and we're going to recreate two of the puzzles that we find in the main campaign of the game. Uh, the first one we're going to recreate is the Shrine of Gluttony where you needed to place three kinds of uh, food into an alcove in order for a secret door to open. So I'm going to place a Dungeon Alcove over here uh, next to a secret door and also we're gonna play some uh, some text here as well saying uh, feed me so if you come here we have the text saying feed me and here is the alcove that we need to put something into in order for this secret door over here to open so as always we need to place a script entity next to the alcove and we're going to create some functions here. Uh, the first function I'm going to create is uh, let's just say function check items, something like that. And I'll go like this uh, local count equals zero. And uh, now we're going to do a for loop which iterates for the items within the alcove. So we just do uh, in alcove. Sorry. Here comes the magic. Uh, if the item we are looking for, if it has the trait, uh, and the trait being in this case consumable, like this, uh, then we are going to do something. We're going to take the count and we're going to say the count plus one. Like this, we're gonna end the if loop and and again. Then we're gonna do another if loop. If the count is uh, greater or equal to three, then what's what was the name of this door? This is Dungeon Secret Door One. Then Dungeon Secret Door 1, which is a door, will open, else that door will close. Like this, and the if loop, and then end everything. So, if we take the alcove, uh, we're gonna put a connector on insert item we're gonna check for the items and also when we remove something we're gonna check again for the items so if this is working correctly we should be able to place some food here let's find something food blueberry pie some mushrooms and cheese like this so if we take the the mushroom and place it inside the counter should have gone up to one now the counter should be two and now the counter should be three and the dungeon door opens if we take something the counter is back to two and the door closes so this is a this is a simple way to uh, to run through the alcove and check if uh, we are placing an item that is consumable or has the trait consumable. If so, we put the counter up by one and when the counter reaches three, we open the door and if it's not greater or equal to three, the door stays closed. Of course, if you want more items to be placed, we could say four or we could say five. And also, if we want different items, for example, 
if we want this to be uh, triggered by missile weapons, for example. Then of course if we if we refresh this and I play, place the food here, nothing ha nothing is happening because these are all the wrong items. But if we if we drop some bows here, let's just drop a crossbow, a long bow, and a short bow. And refresh. Well, the floor is littered with items, so if we place the short bow, uh, the crooked long bow, and the crossbow, what was there a typo? Maybe. Yep, it's missile weapon. It's not weapons. So. I made a typo, not the first time and certainly not the last time, so if we try this again, yep, now it works. And this of this works for we 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 could do we could do light weapons. We could do heavy weapons. Heavy. Uh I'm not quite sure how many traits there are. Uh, for items. Uh, the ones I've found out are missile weapons, light weapons, heavy weapons, consumable, and I think we also have ingredients, which are, of course, uh, this, uh, the, the crafting ingredients. So uh, it would be great if, if somebody has more traits or has found out more traits that he could post it on the forum. But for now, this is what we have. And uh, like always, I will post this uh, this short code on the forum uh, and put a link in the description. So let's head out to the next puzzle, which is here. This is the one where we had a a power game uh, inside a uh, behind a door. I remember, it was like this, and. There were four alcoves, one, two, three, and four, and we needed to place the correct items into them. Uh, they were all figures, so we had what oh, the ogre figure, we had the skeleton figure, we had the snail figure, and I think it was the Crovern, the ice guardian was used later in the game. So, here we are in a dark room, which we're gonna light up so you guys can see what's happening. So we got these four alcoves over here, and we want the correct figure to be placed into the correct alcove in order for this door to open. And there was some text here as well, if I, if I remember correctly, uh, with some puzzles, but I will leave the puzzle part totally up to you, so we will just place the names of the item that we want. So, uh, snail and crover, like this. So now we have ogre into this alcove, we have skeleton into this one. We need to place a snail into this one and a crovern into this one. And all the items are conveniently on the floor at the moment. So uh, let's take a look at how we do this. Uh, we're going to place a script entity here as well. And uh, I'm going to create a, a function here, which is uh, simply going to be function. surface contains and it's going to take surface and item like this and then we have ex uh, the it's almost the same for loop as we had before for a variable number in surface
contains uh, contents, sorry, to if I game object name equals I'm trying to find equal if that equals exactly uh, the item then return true and 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 so this is just a function that we are gonna call from the uh, actual function that will be hooked up to the alcove so let's call this function open power gm door and then we do if surface contains and now you see why I created this before because uh, the function is actually calling that one so this code has to be placed in the same scripting entity as this code since since I'm just calling it directly I'm not uh, I'm not calling it into another script so if surface contains uh, and this alcove was dungeon alcove 2 this is a surface and there we wanted the figure ogre let's close this and let's just go with this around So if alcove 2, if that contains the figure ogre, and if alcove uh, 3, we set the crover. So if alcove 3 contains the figure crover, and if alcove 4, let's, let's do this correctly, uh, that was the that was skeleton. Sorry, <laughs> that was supposed to be the skeleton. So, if alcove uh, four contains the figure skeleton, and then this would be alcove five. That's five, and we wanted a snail into that one. So like this then we wanted this door here to open this is a door open else that door is closed like this then the same thing. Uh, we, I'm gonna first just on insert item, but uh, be careful since we have two uh, functions now within the script. We need to choose the correct one, which is open power game door. So if we hook all these guys up to the script, open power game door, hook it up, open, and this one as well. like this. So if we didn't mess this up, if we refresh, and of course we messed this up. Let's see what we did wrong. Function surface contains surface item. For in surface contents to if the name equals item then return probably more typos let's see 
Oh yeah. I'm I'm clutching this up today. And if we don't need that, is you know if and then just and this and that and that. I think in Legends of Grimrock One you could do and if and if and if you could do loops like that, but Legends of Grimrock Two doesn't like that. So let's see if we did something, <laughs> something correctly. So this one wanted the ogre. So if we place the ogre here. This one wanted the skeleton. This one wanted the snail. And this one wanted the crowbar. And the door opens and we take the power game. Uh, of course if, if I remove the statues again, uh, the door won't close. Uh, I believe the puzzle was like that in the, in the original campaign. Uh, or at least I remember carrying these things around forever. But if we if we wanted uh, the po you know if we wanted to uh, close the door if somebody removes, then of course we just put an on remove hook to this and and we check also for that. So so now if if we place the ogre, I only did it I did it on this one spot. This was the snail. Now it opens, but if I remove the ochre, it closes again. And I only hooked it up to this one alcove, but of course you would need to hook it up to all the alcoves in order to get the desired effect. So, so in short, th this is uh, this is alcove iterations of items. Uh, of course, uh, you can change this to whatever item suits you. Uh, and uh, like I said here, uh, I don't know all the traits. Uh, I know a lot of them, but there has to be some more. And probably we can define our own traits uh, if we are defining our own items. So uh, that's also something to to look out for. But uh, some of you guys were asking me to do al alcove videos or explain alcove so I I hope I've done that I hope I've uh, showed you uh, at least these two puzzles from the original campaign how, how they how they were done or at least how I think they were done so uh, this is it this is it for now uh, thank you for watching